What's up from 50 States My Way? It's Ashley. We have one more video highlighting our fun time in Little Rock, Arkansas. In this vlog, we're going to talk about some of the great places that we ate at, including me trying catfish, a walkthrough of our really, really great Airbnb that was off of Sherman Avenue, along with our stop at the National Historic Park site of Central High School. If you're looking for a great place to eat breakfast at the corner right behind me is absolutely delicious <laughs> We both had the veggie omelet. I had the grits and Ryan had the home fries. Phenomenal. We didn't even finish because it was just so much food. Best part, right across the street from the convention center. There we go. Ryan and I, after our run today, came to Soul Fish highly recommended by many of the locals as well as one of my favorite youtube vloggers out there adventures of a plus k so adam and Catherine, you sent us here by your vlog and we cross-checked it with locals and here we are at soul fish i've never had catfish before i'm not a fish eater but i am going to try it based on Catherine's report we got the special of the day so far to start which is fried green tomatoes with a nice cajun remoulade sauce they look absolutely perfect textbook perfect so now let's take a bite and see are these truly southern delicious Ooh, and they're really hot i can't try it just yet i'm gonna come back and let it cool off for a second and then i'll let you know how they are all right so my fried green tomatoes have cooled down a little bit and i can tell you that they are textbook perfect they're not overly fried, so they're not soggy. Just a very basic cornmeal um, breading. And they still have a little bit of a crunch to them. So again, they're not over fried. Absolutely delicious. One of my favorite things to get in the South are fried green tomatoes. All right, so clearly today, especially after doing a 10K, I'm using this as a gluten sheet because there, there was just no way to come here and not get gluten. I could have gotten the chicken or the pork chop, um, but I wanted something a little bit different and something that stood out on the menu. So I got the Memphis po' boy with cucumber salad and holy moly. I think this is going to be a knife and fork sandwich. That way I can at least limit some of the bread, but whoa whoa crazy but why we're really here let's check out the fried catfish with <clears throat> coleslaw fries and hush puppies ryan is going to give me a bite and we'll see how it is okay so they say you have to try something before you know you don't like it i have not tried catfish i'm not a seafood person every fish every seafood every everything that i've ever tried just no so here goes, we're gonna try some fried catfish, but I am dipping it in the tartar sauce. <laughs> Here we go. I feel like this piece is mostly breading. <laughs> so I think I need to try to, okay, so this piece has definitely more fish. <clears throat> so we'll try this one in the tartar sauce. That way I can get a better feel because that was more breading than anything else. Okay. It is not terrible. It doesn't necessarily have that fishy taste or fishy feel, but it doesn't have a fishy smell. Um, <clears throat> This piece has less breading, so I'm a little hesitant, but we'll try one more. No, that's too thick. Ryan was trying to give me a really, really big piece, and I'm like, no. Okay. If I had to eat fish, I could do this. It's not terrible. I am actually going to finish my bite. I don't know if I'm ready yet to order a full meal um, and like go down the catfish crazy road yet, 
but um, it is not offensive, if that makes sense. So again, shout out to Catherine with Adventures of A Plus K because she's not a fish eater and she actually sold me on it. Now for the, you know, thing I really want to try, the Hush Puppy. Mmm. Look at the inside of that. It's a cornbread nugget. It's so good. I can't even begin to tell you how good it is. Delicious. All right, cucumber salad time. <clears throat> One of the things I love to make during the summer. Let's see how they are. Mm. My grandmother always just called them quick pickles. So good. So, so good. I'm probably not going to film tasting the po' boy because it's so big. Or I just might have Ryan hold the camera. But we'll get there. I'm going to finish my little piece of fish, finish my hush puppy, and then we'll go in for the Memphis uh, po' boy. I did not show my sandwich because the moment I lifted it, I mean, it was so covered in sauce, it just basically fell apart. Um, so it became more of like a fork sandwich. I'm not gonna lie, um, really regretting that I didn't get the catfish. Um, this is on video, so it's documented. Um, when a place is called Soulfish, they're known for their catfish, trust in the process. Um, I just didn't know if I would even like it, so I didn't wanna chance it. Um, but yeah, I, really kind of wish I'd gotten that and just been braver. The po' boy um, was just okay. Like I said, I think where it went wrong was that it was just so covered in barbecue sauce that it was just too saucy and it just lost all of its appeal after that. Um, however, so that's the fried green tomato spot on. The cucumber salad, amazing. Hush puppies, wow. But fried catfish, I'm a believer. And if you are in Little Rock, definitely give um, soul fish a try and maybe be braver than me and actually get the catfish even if you don't like fish. Our next stop in our exploration of Little Rock, Arkansas is probably the most significant location in the entire city and that is the site of the Little Rock Nine which is where desegregation happened um, in the 1950s when nine African-American students entered an all-white high school um, under armed guard because the crowd got so unruly. So we are at Central High School. Another stamp at a national park for our passport. I'm gonna make sure that it's facing the right direction. It is. So now, Little Rock Central High School. And we're gonna do another stamp which has the mascot and actually says Central. For good measure. There it is. Now let's go buy our sticker. The gift shop is very small, but it's very education focused. A lot of different unique books, as well as a CD, some Central High School shirts. And of course your national park, um, you know, collector's items. They also have a number of really nice Christmas ornaments. When nine Little Rock students headed to high school in 1957, they left behind more than half a century of segregated education and entered a new era of equality. They paid a personal price for their belief in the United States Constitution, but their courage, demand for equal rights, move the nation farther along its path of democracy for all. This exhibit explores the pivotal role that the events at Little Rock Central High School played in American history. What's really great in here, um, instead of like a big movie, you can listen to these little clips. And there's three different stations. And you just hold the phone up to your ear and you can actually hear the stories. And it's um, like a documentary broken up into little pieces. However, because of COVID, they are limiting how many people can actually be inside of the location. So we're actually getting ready to step out because only 10 can be back here in this museum section. Um, 
and you're given just so much time and as a result of that um, you know, there's just not enough time to actually listen or read all of the plaques and things like that which you know is, is okay gotta respect the ways that um, the staff in the National Park Service are keeping us safe because this is a small environment Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. Little Rock Central High Tigers. This statue outside of the high school is entitled United. is absolutely huge and it's amazing that it's still an actively used high school so we have that wing all the way over multiple floors and then over here and then there's another building off to the side massive What better way to celebrate doing a 10K than with ice cream at Bob Lolly? What I love about this place is since I'm trying to limit my dairy, they have vegan ice cream. I got the Pinnacle and the peanut butter cup. So it's decadent. It tastes like I'm eating, you know, a brownie on top of a peanut butter cup. It is delicious and best part, gluten-free waffle cones unreal so while i did have some gluten during lunch i'm not gonna lie don't feel the greatest after doing that um, i'm really happy to now stick to trying to be dairy free mm, and gluten limited <laughs> with some great ice cream when in little rock this is the place you got to check out After a very tiring day and a line out the door, we decided to go to threefold, but get it to go. What we got is the half and half, which is noodles and dumplings, along with um, shredded chicken. Super excited. It looks so good. They have various spice levels, and I got the not spicy one the um, medium just so I could try both all right so we're gonna go for the big dumpling first it also looks like there's um, some cabbage or some type of slaw in here but let's go for this dumpling first mmm oh my gosh you can tell they're made in house absolutely delicious if you can see the inside there this is delicious absolutely yummy very flavorful and the perfect thing to have the day before a marathon because it's all carbs all right let's try some of the regular noodles very long slurpable noodles mm. absolutely delicious light not heavy but carb loading for sure this is the perfect dinner great place great find check out threefold when you're here in little rock this is absolutely delicious probably one of my highlight meals so far you know something's delicious when you come twice lob lolly the best ice cream place i have ever found on vacation why is it so great is because they have multiple flavors that are vegan friendly or dairy free yesterday i got the pinnacle which is like a chocolate ice cream with nuts and coconut flakes absolutely delicious and then i got the peanut butter crunch which i got today on the bottom and then today i got the vanilla coconut on the top they also have gluten-free waffle cones 
So absolutely delicious, really great choices. And of course, since Ryan finished the marathon today, we felt like he needed a little bit of calories. Hi, cookies and cream. <laughs> he kept it simple with cookies and cream. If you're in Little Rock, you gotta check out Loblolly. It is checkout day in Little Rock, and I wanted to give you a quick little walkthrough of our Airbnb, which was absolutely perfect. About a half a mile from where all of the action and stuff for the race is, and maybe 0.6, but perfect walkable distance, great Airbnb if you are in town for marathon or just for fun in Little Rock. Really safe, really cute, so let's take a peek inside. Really nice secure key punch to get in. You walk into the Airbnb, and again, this is at checkout, so you're not gonna see things exactly as we saw it, but what I try to do when I stayed at Airbnb is try to get it as close to how it was when we got here, um, almost like a leave no trace kind of mentality. Um, so really cute living room, nice couch, lots of pillows, nice little dinette here. What we really liked was that it had um, some games, an entire basket filled with cleaning supplies, masks, little bowl of candy. Over here on the table we had a coloring book that we did add to with some um, pamphlets um, about the area, the stay manual. And since we're leaving I changed the little sign from let's stay in to let's go out. <laughs> then you walk through this door and again it's an older building um, so it, it's kind of cool to see how they've used the space. On this side you have the refrigerator and what was really nice when we came there were two beers which were not beer drinkers so we left those behind um there were two iced teas um little a little coke a little sprite a little uh, orange fanta and two bottles of water um and then of course you know it was stocked with some condiments and some coffee and things like that one of the reasons why we love staying at airbnb so much washer and dryer so we did utilize this of course while we were here um twice so great washer and dryer. We always do bring our own soap um, because I have sensitive skin as well as our own dryer sheets, but you can tell that the owner um, actually does provide their own for um, residents or occupants, guests to stay. And then you turn the corner and in this alcove is the kitchen. We did utilize the kitchen twice for breakfast. We made dinner one night, um, was really well stocked, great coffee machine. I'm a drip coffee girl, so I love that they had the drip option along with a Keurig style. Came with coffee filters, the manual, everything's really well marked and labeled. And then in here are the little pods. I'm not going to open it, but pods are in there for those who want the more Keurig style. Inside here, again, more condiments, some teas and things like that, and some cooking utensils and tools. Sink. Dishwasher, one of the things that they do ask that you do on checkout is put any dishes that you have, which we did because we made breakfast this morning, and then turn it on, so we did that. What, another thing that I really wanted to give great feedback, again, I'm a tea drinker in the evening, so being able to boil my own water as opposed to putting it in the microwave, really great touch. I was really happy that there was an actual tea kettle. Come through this alcove door and you see the bedroom really nice king size bed oh my gosh it was so soft so comfortable um having you know some of the aches and stiffness it was so nice to have a soft bed um had way too many throw pillows but that's a look thing you know a lot of people like those throw pillows to make a bed look inviting um we just think it adds extra space but it was really pretty when it was all put together very comfortable a nice um oscillating fan a little dresser here with a mirror Hi, run 50 states my way. <laughs> um, and then there was also a closet, which oftentimes when there's a dresser, there's not a closet. Favorite thing about the stay, <clears throat> we got terry cloth robes. Absolutely loved it. Extra bedding, a vacuum, and again, an opportunity to hang your clothes. The last space in here. Now again, we are checking out, so one of the things that they asked us to do was to put all of our linens and towels into the bathtub. So we've done that. Really nice subway tile shower, great pressure and warm water. And then of course they did provide, we bring our own, but they did provide the um, 
body wash and shampoo and conditioner. The only thing to be mindful of when you stay at this Airbnb, and I did see it in some of the reviews and I you know, was waiting to try to understand what they meant, <laughs> you'll notice that the gap from the shower um, or tub to the toilet commode is really tight. Now you can, let me see if I can, there we go. You can do it. Ah! <laughs> it does work, but um, it is a tight squeeze. So if you do have long legs like we do, just be mindful that it is a tight squeeze, but it wasn't uncomfortable. It worked just fine. Sink, extra towels there. Another thing to note, Run 50 States My Way, is there is a back little porch right out of the kitchen. We really didn't use this space um, a whole lot. Little patio, nice little chair area behind this fenced-in space. Really nice. You kind of get to see downtown is this way. And then our parking is right out in front, which made it really nice. So we always were able to just park our car right in front of the space. So yeah, nice little outside area. One fun thing to do when staying in the Airbnb is always try to see if there is a guest book. Um, you can tell I like to write, you know I like to talk. So here is our entry. And of course, we know we want everybody to follow our journey by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Run 50 States My Way. We want, especially for this um, Airbnb, which I will be putting a link in the description below, Again, we paid for this Airbnb. I'm not sponsored by Airbnb. We just really like staying at Airbnbs. Um, but I will put a link to this location in the description down below. It was a great location. Definitely, um, again, like, subscribe, and comment down below what you like about staying at Airbnbs. And if you've ever stayed at this one here in Arkansas. With that, Run 50 States My Way. It's Ashley and Ryan, and we are off to our next adventure, which on our way home, don't worry, our runcation for state number 12 is not over. We are going to make a pit stop in Mammoth Cave in Kentucky on our way home. So stay tuned for more. Off to Kentucky.